Hey there everyone, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, on the internet everywhere. Uh, this is Joan, and I'm going to be doing another product review for you guys. Um, this one may or may not uh, be uh, picked up by YouTube as something bad, we'll see. But uh, this is the O. Henry 425 bar. Now, why would they call something a 425 bar? Well, I'll get to that. So firstly, O. Henry. If you're familiar with Hershey bars, you'll know that O. Henry is basically Hershey's version of a Snickers bar. It has peanuts, caramel, nougat, and it's covered in chocolate. Now, this one, it says it's a limited time also says that in French. It says that in French because I got this from Canada where it is sold. Um, this is only available in Canada, not available in the United States. Um, and I'll explain that as well. So they attach the name O'Henry to it. I guess maybe O'Henry bars are po more popular in Canada. Um, I know you barely ever see O'Henry bars in the United States. Um, but they do exist, though this is not a regular O'Henry bar. It's only peanuts and caramel. It says crunchy peanuts wrapped around chewy caramel. Or caramel, however you want to say that. Now that sounds awful similar to something else Hershey's has. And that's this. A payday, which says peanut caramel bar around the package. Now Payday says it's 52 grams. The O. Henry 425 bar also says it's 52 grams. They are both the same 240 calories. I did find some minor differences. So they're both made from Hershey's. This one's labeled as distributed by the Hershey's company, Hershey's Pennsylvania. This one says it's imported by Hershey Canada, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Now, if it says imported by, does that mean these are made somewhere else? Possibly Hershey's Pennsylvania? It doesn't go into detail about that, it just says imported by. So, Hershey's Canada are importing these. Now, I did notice a few other differences. For the payday, the ingredients listed are peanuts, sugar, corn syrup. For the 425 bar, peanuts, sugar, corn syrup. So far the same things. But here's where it gets different by one ingredient. Skim milk. Payday is listed as skim milk. On the O. Henry bar, there is no skim milk listed. But as we go further, we see palm oil, sunflower oil, palm oil, sunflower oil. And then they both say contain salt and carrageenan and mono and diglycerides. So every ingredient are the same, they're listed the same, except for the fact that paydays have skim milk. And also if you look at the nutrition facts, they're almost identical, except for the fact that paydays have 120 milligrams of, so of sodium and the 425 bar has 115 milligrams of sodium. Now they look upside down because the backs are differently oriented. So what I'm reading to you, that's what you'll see. The other things here we have, um, iron is 6% on the payday, iron is 8% on the 425 bar. Calcium are both 4%, and that's the only thing there. Now, payday is actually listed as having 200 milligrams of potassium, whereas the 425 bar doesn't list potassium at all. Does skim milk have potassium in it? I don't know. That's the only different ingredient. So, they both have the same amount of calcium, 
you think skim milk added calcium, but it doesn't. Okay, so that's it for the differences and similarities. A lot of similarities, a couple minor differences that are maybe just things that were left off. I don't know. Well, let's get back to the O. Henry 425. Now, why is it called 425? Well, let's look at some of the, what the wrapper says. On the top of the bar right here, it says this bar was specially formulated for the intense hunger that hits five minutes after 420. So, something happens at 420 which makes you really hungry five minutes later. Who knows what that is? Um, it also says on here, really small, under all the labels, it says, it's edible. It's not an edible. Again, what does that mean? And the last part it says here, our dankest ingredients yet. Which in French is, avec des ingredients complement buzzants. I guess in French, buzzants is the same as dank. Oops. But who knows what that means anyway. There you go, the O. Henry 425 bar. It's not 425, it's actually 6.08 p.m. right now. Um, so, the, I guess I'm too late for this because I didn't have any extreme hunger after five minutes after 420. Not today, anyway. But uh, let's go ahead and open it up and give it a try. And since I have a pate in here, I'm going to open them both up and see if there's any visual differences, if there's any taste differences. So I'll, I can let you know if you need to drive up to Canada right now, or if you're in Canada, just buy one. So I, does Canada have paydays? Is that only a United States thing? Because if Canada already has paydays, then I really don't know what the purpose is. So here we go, side by side. The green is, of course, the 425. The white package is, of course, the payday. Do you see a difference? Let me get some light down here for you. Do you see a difference there? We'll take them both out of the package. Off camera, I will know which one's which, but you will not. Okay. So which one of these is the payday? Which one of these is the 425 bar? They look very similar. They're the exact same length. They're the exact same width. They both smell exactly the same. Appearance-wise, they both kind of look like they're missing some bits on one side, but are more covered on the other. They both look like they've been extruded through the same hole. But both getting my fingers equally dusty with salt. Let's give it a taste. You don't know what this one is, but I do. Salty, crunchy, sweet, caramel. Really tasty candy bar. And now let's try this one. Again, I know which one it is, you don't. Salty. Crunchy, sweet, even like the texture of the, the bite looks the same. I'm trying my 
darndest to figure out something that's different about these, and I can't. So the one on my right hand was payday, the one on my left hand was the 425 bar. If you were guessing at home, let me know if you were correct or incorrect. There's no difference. I don't know if the skim milk was an ingredient of something else, and maybe the rules in Canada about listing in the ingredients are different than the rules of the United States. I, I really can't tell that difference that one has skim milk. Really makes no sense to me. The caramels look the same. They have the same uh, tensile strength when you bend them around. The caramel moves at the same pressure. What if I go this and I take a bite through both of them? Well, first of all, it is one of my favorite candy bars. So the 425 bar, I automatically like it. It's definitely one thing that's good for if you just got, you got to eat something. You don't want a full meal, but you need something in you. It's satisfying. The peanuts have a lot of protein a lot of fat to them, it's going to fill you up. And then you get like that sweetness to contrast the saltiness, which is always a good combination. Now, if you are from Canada, let me know. Do you guys not have paydays? Because that's the only way that I could see plausible that this is considered limited edition or new. The only way and then you have the the marketing you know it's in a green wrapper again I don't know what that means why it's green what does that reference you tell me I'm innocent here anyway it's gonna be it for this review the 425 bar the payday bar they're both delicious they're both 10 out of 10 candy bars in my book one better than the other? No. They're both equally the same because they are the same. And uh, I'm going to enjoy both of them once I end this video. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, adios.